What is a CRM? And if I say to you, the CRM is a customer relationship management software, will that be enough? I don't think so. You do need to know a little bit more into detail to really understand what this software can do and what is it that it can do for your business, how it can help your business. So let's do it or let's discuss it bit by bit three major points that I would like to discuss about the software. The first one is the marketing. It can help your business in marketing immensely. The second part is collaboration. So in between your team members, how can you manage your leads and deals in a better and efficient way? And the third part is analytics and reporting. How can you develop and you can create those insights and reports and dashboards from your your CRM itself. So let's start discussing and take a scenario. Let's say you have a list of contacts. You have list of list of emails that you want to market to. Yes, you can use a, some sort of email marketing tool as well where you can send an email to them and you can simply forget about it. Then you don't need to worry about and say, hey, who replied what, who is interested in it, what, he, who have opened it or not. Yes, email marketing tool, for example, MailChimp was able to show you the visitor analytics as well, who have opened it, what percentage they have opened it. But this is not the only strength of a CRM. If you are selling a product or a service to your clients, you might end up in having more than one conversation. And that's what the CRMs are good at. So they, they can keep a record of all your interactions with your client. And as I said before, scenario one, you have list of contacts who you want to market to. So the low, those list of contacts, you want to send their first email, easy you can do it in mailchimp or you you can do it in crms too what about the second email what about the reminder what about a, uh, making a segregation what about segregation i means dividing those lists into further sub lists making sure that you are sending um, shoe related campaign to the customers who are interested in in buying shoes and not uh, to the people who are interested in buying hats so that aggregation and that's market it can uh, marketing it can help you with second part is that automations that you can achieve for example if somebody opens those emails don't you want to send them a reminder don't you want do you want to do it manually or do you want the system to do it there are ways that you can schedule an email based on the criteria from your CRM. Once you have sent a reminder, maybe after five, seven days, you want system to send some sort of a special offer for a new launch, a new product launch or something that you're going to introduce to the market. So, or maybe there is some special occasion coming in, for example, end of financial year and you do want system to send those people that email maybe there is a financial year ending in australia maybe not in us if you do have a business which goes across multiple countries or multiple territories that's when the value of the crm starts coming into the picture so the second part that i said to you collaboration yes you have done the marketing you have got your brand or your product in front of your client the very next thing maybe you want them to do is go to a landing page or a website and from to send that inquiries directly into the crm once these inquiries are generated you want these to be handled we can in crm terms we can call them leads and those leads need to be qualified. Those activities need to be scheduled. You're gonna keep a record somewhere. Otherwise, they are, it's very easy to lose the track of all these inquiries, the marketing efforts that you generated. Second part, as soon as you have done 
on the inquiry you qualified them you might end up in sending emails don't you those emails again you might need to integrate that software with your email client so that you still can, you still can use your outlook and you systems can show those email threads associated to those particular contacts i don't think i'm using too much of a technical lingo so far right so now when you have lead and now either way you are going to handle it or you have more than one sales team member to handling them if you have those activities scheduled for example there is a call you need to call them to qualify it maybe you want to send some sort of acknowledgement email wouldn't it be good that a system can send those acknowledgement emails maybe you want to schedule sort of appointments or the events we call it and you want to sync those meeting invites to your calendar as well or to your sales team members calendars once you have done those activities you have qualified it you might end up in generating the quotes or the proposals oh, but if you have a uh, product based business maybe you want to generate the sales order directly so this is what the crm sy systems or crm software can help you in achieving those collaborations as well in between your team members maybe somebody who was following up the lead didn't not going to come on friday maybe they only work 3 days a week maybe they going to fall sick somebody need to take over and how many leads they going to remember so those reminders need to be set up what if you going to take a new staff or new team member so those need to members need to be trained again how good would it be if your ip or we or your intellectual property was contained or was built into the software so whether you can take a new sales team members or you can take or you can reassign some of your operations people into the sales or from marketing people to the sales and it's easier to keep going in a consistent way if you had that ip built in a software that's what these softwares do N next part after the collaboration i said we can talk about analytics and reports so you did spend quite a lot of money uh, in generating those leads whether it is on facebook whether it is on google advertisements or seo or some sort of special promotions you launched some special affiliations you developed you want to track them you want to know where is it which part of the marketing is generating more revenue for you not only up to the leads not only up to the inquiries maybe up to the deals or prospects as well what about maybe the next one that you want to make sure that those reports are can be converted into live real time dashboards real time dashboard components so that you don't have to wait for the next day to go and check it out where we are at maybe you want to know that how well your sales team is handling your business that's being generated are they really following up so those management or analytics or report dashboards can be created yes those dashboards can be different for different people so the next part is oh, you have done all of it which are the softwares are available in the market and does all this crm softwares do, are the same in reality no yes majority of softwares will allow you to record the client interactions but there there are products which which are designed for particular businesses or particular type of businesses some products are good when you have already have a contact list or you already have a big subscriber list they are good with that part some crms they can help you acquire new business even if you don't have a big marketing uh, list or the contact list so those softwares can help you big time you want to know see in in these other videos that we going to share at the end and check it out we have done a comparison of these crms couple of them which are very popular one in the market 
like Zoho, like uh, Salesforce, like HubSpot, and like Infusionsoft or Keep, you can call them. We did give quite a lot of insight about how these prices are structured. So don't forget to watch these videos if this you find it useful. We do request you to subscribe for more videos like this and ask any questions if you have any in the comments. We'll be happy if you'd give us a thumbs up if you really find it useful. And if you can, if you think that this video can be useful to others as well, simply share this one, uh, whether it is on our social media or on or wherever you, you feel it relevant. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.